Okay, boys and girls. Now let's get started with our written response. Remember to put your name at the top. And here we go. Matter changes written response. Read the passage, restate the questions, and answer the questions using complete sentences. Let's look at question number one, part A. Why did the author write this passage? Do you remember how to restate the question? That's right. The author wrote this passage to, okay, and then you're going to answer the question and your answer is going to go here. And don't forget to end the sentence with a period. Go ahead and pause this video, continue answering the question, and then move on to question two, which is part B. Okay, now we're ready for part B. Write two sentences from the passage that supports your answer to part A. Okay, do you remember what the word supports means? That's right. It means to prove your answer or to show your answer support, to help it. Okay, so how would we restate this question? Okay, we would start with two sentences. That supports my answer R colon. Okay, and then you would write your two sentences on the lines. And don't forget to use quotations because you are borrowing that text from the passage. And then, of course, use end quotations. Go ahead and pause this video. Find your two sentences that supports your answer to why the author wrote the passage. And then move on to question number three. Let's look at question three. Which word in the passage suggests the meaning of exposed as used in the passage. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back into the passage and find the word exposed and go ahead and put a box around it. Then I want you to read the sentence before and maybe the sentences after and see if you can find a word that suggests. Suggests means to hint, right? Give us a hint. So we'll put hints at the meaning of exposed. Okay, so we would restate it. The word in the passage that suggests the meaning of exposed is and you would go ahead and write your word down and remember to end your answer with a period go ahead and pause the video find the word exposed and see if you can find the word that helped us with the meaning Okay, you're on the last question. Good job. Number four says, what happens to water in a pot after it starts to boil? Okay, so what you're going to do in the passage is find the part where the author talks about water boiling. 
And then you're going to read what happens after. Okay, so we would restate our question after water starts to boil. And then you would answer it on these lines. And again, don't forget to end with the proper punctuation. Go ahead and pause this and answer question four. Okay, boys and girls, good job. Now what I would like you to do before you put this on the done side of your folder, go ahead and reread all your answers and make sure that they make sense. Did you start each answer with a capital letter and end with a period? Did you write neatly so your teacher can read it? If you said yes to both of these things, you are finished. Great job. Go on to the next task that you need to complete.